Welcome, Master Reflectors. Thank you for all my new I subs. I am a unicorn. I am a unicorn. I am a unicorn. I'm a unicorn. I'm a unicorn. <laughs> Hi everybody, just real quick you guys, I have to point out something very, very super duper important. I, I had to pull over because I can't do a car chronicle today. I need you guys' this undivided attention here with me. So I put out my video about Princess Kate and I said that Princess Kate is more than just missing because the palace has been giving us crap news articles crap photos crap now videos okay because just a couple of days ago they said oh you know princess kate is doing just fine she was out at the farm at the windsor farms she's shopping with her husband she's looking upbeat and chipper and everything's great right this is an official statement from the palace they specifically said that this happened they said that this right here is the truth they said you can believe us and then everybody was like well, wait a minute they went to the kids sports thing saw the kids playing sports um her and william um they went to the farm and they got farm stuff i don't know nut butters or whatever from megan marco because she's selling them now um they got uh other things that required a big bag and now kate all of a sudden is being seen walking very chipper with her husband prince william at the windsor farms right down the pathway just as fast and upbeat and happy and glowing and wonderful swinging a bag i took one look at this video and i said no who this woman no she had abdominal surgery she was hurting she needed recovery time she can't even make it to the saint patty's day parade and and things that people put on for her even though she was supposed to have been there and been like the grandmaster or whatever there okay she was supposed that was her patron that queen elizabeth gave her and she was not doing well enough to even attend that they couldn't even wheel her in there and sit her down somewhere so she can sit there and go <laughs> the queen of england had cancer we did not even know she still managed to walk around and when she couldn't she putted around and then she sat there and she looked at the festivities that people put on for her at 90 some odd years old or old and then decided to go <laughs> this is great she couldn't even wear her daggone crown in the last few days because it was too heavy for her head and she sat there and she went <laughs> She had the, the crown in front of her. You know, she, but the Queen Elizabeth, old frail lady that can't run and do anything. And if you hit her or with a, with a whiff of wind, she probably would tumble over. You know what happened with her? She sat there and she was like, I'm not even cutting this cake. I'll hold the knife though. That's what happened. How come Princess Kate can't even come and sit no daggone with, with nobody to, to, to receive the accolades that they put on for her? They sent her a video and everything, but did she get it, though? That's the question. Did Princess Kate get this video? Did she actually see the video that these people put on for her? Because in order to see it, you got to be alive to see it. You got to be around to see it. Let's go back to that photo, that Mother's Day photo that everybody keeps on saying that everybody is tripping over a little too much. Well, let's go back to it. They initially said that Prince William is the one who took that photo. They said that Prince William personally took that photo and is giving it to us graciously, us commoners, that 
this photo is here as a peace offering so you can see that princess kate is doing just fine and princess kate supposedly princess kate wrote on her story for the post and said hey you guys i hope everybody's having a wonderful mother's day <laughs> right but she can't get online she can't do a quick video that old mother hubbard prince uh i mean uh queen elizabeth did you know during covid and everything else that she couldn't she couldn't put around with but she sat there in that chair and she recorded that video and she said hey everybody calm down so princess kate can't sit on a on a stool or bench or on the side of the bed and turn her head somewhere and be like hey everybody calm down they can't do that oh but we can see her bopping and bouncing in the windsor farms or was it People are telling us people that are selling you guys over there in Great Britain, y'all are tripping. That's not her. It wasn't her in the car. It wasn't her bopping around either. If you look at that girl, she looks too young. She ain't got no wrinkles on her face. She looks expressly happy. She does not look at Prince William the way that Prince William is used to being looked at by his wife. And on top of everything else, her jawline is not hers this is not princess kate's face this lady's face go concave in she got a heart-shaped face princess kate doesn't have a heart-shaped face she has an oval face she's her this lady in the video she, her her chin is jutted out and she's just like she's just like <laughs> that's the lady in the video that's not princess kate there's nothing princess kate about that person except for she's tall and skinny and brunette that's it other than that it's not princess kate it's probably like her like niece or some stuff you know that's it that's who that is but look for real for real that is not princess kate the the tmz who put out that video because supposedly nobody saw her with an actual camera at Windsor Farm. Everyone had to have a, a, a you know, they was like, oh, we're going to give her her privacy. No, nobody was looking at this chick because she ain't Princess Kate. But what did happen is that there was supposedly someone maybe 10 feet away from all of this interaction, right? Maybe in a car that had a uh, camera up to the window or something like that, like in the window, and, and they're recording this video transaction of, of everything happening. They're recording, they're recording that. And that is what TMZ got it a hold of, okay? So TMZ got a hold of the footage that the whole entire world couldn't get a hold of. Only TMZ. Let's not forget it was only TMZ that got a picture uh, of Kate and her mom Catherine supposedly uh Kate and Catherine doing a school run and we're assuming that it was a school run TMZ is the only people that got that but they got that on a private estate you guys expect us to believe that that was actually a photo from them being on a school run or somewhere uh, unauthorized people taking unauthorized photos doing unauthorized things uh-huh yeah we stupid we stupid that's what you think and then on top of that right before this particular outing at windsor farm came out the palace themselves made an announcement and said princess kate is still not doing so well princess kate is going to be postponing princess kate's return at the end of of uh of easter or we are going to have to see her at sometime in may Sometimes it's in May. She needs a whole nother month. <laughs> Come on now. You guys think that we're stupid. Now, today, today is uh, Wednesday the 20th of March. Wednesday the 20th of March, everybody, including everybody, is saying, hey, we are going to back away from this video because this exclusive video that we have of princess someone because it ain't kate and prince william that it is prince william for sure we don't think it's them tmz is packing out backing out they don't think it's them because it's not 
it's not Kate. It well, it is them, them being whoever them are, because it's not Princess Kate. But it is Prince William for sure. And why is he walking around with this person who looks a lot like Kate? No, it is not the mistress. No, it is not Sarah. No, it's not her. It's not her. It is someone else. Like I said, it's one of Kate's like family members that happens to resemble them from far away. If you squint really good and then you can see, okay, this is Princess Kate. <gasps> no, it's not. It's Cousin Sue. <laughs> okay, that's who that was. Because, and now TMZ is backing out and they're like, you know what? The, the palace ain't got no credibility. I don't want to be a part of this. Uh, you got TMZ saying, I don't want to be a part of this. I'm telling you. Princess Kate is definitely, probably, most assuredly, a part of the Dear Departed. I'm, I'm not kidding. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, that's my frame of mind. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it, I mean, like, how, what else, what else can we do? What else can we, what else can we think about it as being, other than, you know, Kate's a part of the Dearly Departed, and they need to come out. Mark my words. The palace is going to create some sort of big old scandal. They're going to say, hey, Princess Kate, she is not doing so well and she took a turn for the worse. We had to take her back to the hospital, but not that hospital, a different hospital, because there was somebody that tried to access her records at that hospital. So we're going to take her to a different hospital. And they're going to say, Princess Kate has developed some sort of an infection from her surgery. You know, abdominal surgery is very involved. And she developed a hernia. She developed sepsis. She developed this. And the doctors, they could not get a hold of it. And unfortunately, the disease progressed. The infection progressed to the part where she's no longer with us. And we're so sorry. We're going to mourn her. I'm telling you, the palace and Prince William is getting enough space. And they're, they're, they're devising a plan of how to deal with this. Because Princess Kate is no longer with us. And they need a cover story. Mark my words. You heard it here on Master Reflections. But I wish her the best. I really do wish her the best. And I hope I'm wrong. Okay, you guys. <laughs> Miss K is out. Make sure you like and subscribe. Follow me because I'm the only one that's up here telling you the truth. I'm not speculating or nothing. I already know. Homegirl is gone. I'm sorry. I love her. I love her. She, she, she was beautiful. But... If I see her again, <laughs> I, I, look, I will eat my words. I will sit here and I will eat a ghost pepper online, okay? You just got to remind me that I said that. <laughs> but look, seriously though, Princess Kate, I really do hope that you're alive. But I, I, I'm, I'm out. I, I don't think so. And um, shame on Megan! For announcing everything in the middle of the daggone time that, that, that Prince William and, and Prince Harry was, was receiving an award for the Diana Awards. Announcing your stupid old show that you're doing with your bland old 